to another video. Today, we're back to plowing and it's, it's a chilly one. It's like 20 degrees outside today, it's cold. So I'm glad I get to sit in the tractor here today. We're gonna be doing some more plowing again. We're, at, we're here at a new field. Today we got mile long rows. So we got a full section right here. Well, we don't plant corner to, to corner to corner, but we just do a circular field and it, the whole field is 480 acres and once you get to that middle part there you got mile long rows so it's gonna it's gonna be really it's gonna take a long time to get from one end to the other so so essentially we're gonna be covering lots of acres because you don't have to turn around very often so let's get to plowing i already plowed quite a bit yesterday so I can just continue off right here. I did all the shorter rows pretty much yesterday. I ended up breaking quite a few blades also. I broke, I believe like five blades. There's a rocky spot way over there on that side of the field. So I brought with a few extra blades just in case. I had to go run to town today morning and buy a few extra because we had ran out because I used them all yesterday. And the place where we normally buy the blades from, they were, they ended up being all sold out. But luckily my dad went shopping around and he found another store that carried them too. So he bought like 20 extra blades. So we'll for sure have enough blades for the near future if we do end up needing them. And yes, we are doing just straight with the rows. Normally we would like to go at an angle to I guess do a better job essentially, but we have a huge mound there in the middle of the field that runs straight 180. And we want that last bottom right there to basically move all the dirt from that berm that's over there. Cause we had lots of sand blow last year. So there's like a two foot pile of dirt. So we're wanting that last bottom to shove as much dirt away from the center as possible. Then we'll just level it off with the lamp plane later but so far i've been covering quite a few acres kind of sitting at that nine acres an hour mark tractor still using pretty much all of its power i guess when the, when the tractor warms up then it then it, it usually sits here in this last little bit not in that square extra square piece there so it's not using all of its power but it's still using 18 gallons of fuel an hour Throughout the day, whenever it warms up, it's kind of cold right now. The ground is a little harder because it's a little colder. Once it warms up, then that usually goes down to 17, 16 gallons an hour. So it's so we're using about two gallons of fuel an acre, essentially. So it's not too bad for the price of diesel nowadays. We're we're not using too much of it, so it's all good. And here's the rocky area I was talking about. You can't really see that many rocks on the surface, but they're all underneath. And I just have to go a lot slower because this is where I was breaking quite a few blades yesterday. So I just slow it down a little bit. I already changed the sensitivity of all those bottoms. I made them to where they were a little bit more sensitive to hard surfaces or anything that they might find underneath the ground. Just that way we don't break as many blades because they can get quite expensive over time and especially with everything being sold out and hard to find nowadays rather save them as much as we can which now luckily my dad ended up finding more so we we should be good on on blades i did get a few of them tripping yesterday so at least they at least they are tripping and they're not just completely firm and breaking everything underneath the ground But it's just kind of this little, I don't know, 100 yardish area here. Kind of, it kind of goes, it's looking like it's going at an angle. So it's not the whole field. If it was the whole field, then I'd have to go pretty slow everywhere. But I'm trying to stay around that three, three and a half mile an hour mark. Uh, just that way to save, save the blades just a little bit.
and just barely got one that tripped on me. See if I can shake it loose, get it to go back down. There it is. Must have been something hard underneath the ground to make it trip. I'll just back up a little bit, set it back down, and we should be good to go again. Makes it a lot easier when they have those tripping mechanisms. We used to have John Deere plows way back in the day and all they had was shear bolts. And if that bolt broke, you had to climb back outside with a half inch bolt or a half inch wrench, put a new bolt in there and off you went. You couldn't get tougher bolts or not as tough bolts so you couldn't set the sensitivity of the tripping mechanism. But if there was rocks, you just were breaking them like every 30 seconds so you just had to carry a big bag full of bolts with you so this is a big step up from what, what it used to was would you look at that it's snowing and the camera doesn't even pick it up but it, there's a few snowflakes coming down which which is weird considering yesterday was warm and 65 degrees outside and then today it's 20 and snow yeah that's, that's texas for you i guess well it's coming down a lot harder now than it was earlier it's also starting to look a little white outside i like it it's a nice change of pace Ah, well, great. I broke two blades. Well, the one just a corner chipped off right there. But the other one is that second bottom that you kind of see partially right there. That one's been broken for a while already. Well, not technically broken. It's just it had a long crack in there uh, horizontally pretty much almost all the way through. And I knew it was going to break sometime soon. I just didn't know when. And I guess it finally gave out enough to where... It broke, so looks like I'll have to go outside in the cold and quickly replace a few. on fingers are freezing let's get back to it well that only lasted for like 30 minutes and the snow's already all melted and gone well it was fun while it lasted and heading back to the sh to the shop here uh got another flat tire and i don't think it's gonna hold air but i'm gonna park here here i can see the cotton stock that's coming coming out of there quite frequent or you can see it rolling around i gotta drive a little further i'm gonna go to go to a different shop and then i'm gonna see if i can get some plugs or patches to hopefully patch it Yeah, there's the cotton stock that just decided to poke right through there. And I'm assuming that that is not going to hold air because it's flat. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to hop into my truck. I'll go to a different shop and then I'll see if we have some of those little black plugs. And then I'll see if that'll, that'll hold. If not, tire guy will have to come back out here and patch me another tire. All right, let's see. See if I can find them. I know they're I know they're around here somewhere. Well, searching around for a little bit, and I cannot seem to find any of those patches. So, 
guess I'll have to just fill up the tire with air and I guess hopefully that it'll last me for the rest of the day. If not, then I'll call the tire shop and tell them to quickly come out here and patch me a tire. Let's hope that tire will hold its air. Yeah, that tire is already getting a little bit low, but it's not terrible yet. <clears throat> but I could, since I couldn't find the plugs, I might just drive as late as I can today. Then just bring some plugs with tomorrow, or I don't know what you would call them. They're not really patches. They're those, those little rubber pieces that you just stick and poke into the tire. I uh, yeah, used one of those last time and it seemed to work, so I might have to pick up some tomorrow and hopefully that'll patch my tire. And one tank of fuel didn't last me all day, so here I am filling up for the second tank. Still hard at it. And I'm gonna call it a day. Finished just over 75 acres today, so that was not a bad day. So I'm gonna quickly fuel up with fuel and def, and then I'll also grease it that way when I come back tomorrow morning all I have to do is just hop in the tractor and get back to plowing you can't forget the death well that's going to be it for this video as always I do appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all guys in the next video.